Finally home. We were just out running some errands, went to the restoration hardware outlet. This is the new mirror. I don't know where this is gonna live, but for now it's just gonna be out here. I'm just gonna fill up some waters for the beach. I'm just like so happy to finally be here and be settling in the house. You guys know how much I love decorating and interior design. And this is definitely like a different sort of project for me. When I was living in Toronto, the apartment that I was living in was more on the modern side. So this isn't like the first modern space that I've had to decorate, but it's definitely harder because this is a whole house and we're not gonna use an interior design or anything because I, I do really love interior design. Yeah, I'm just so excited to be in Florida and to be spending most of the winter in Florida. So my plan with this vlog is to do like a little weekend, probably plus Monday vlog. I feel like all my weekend vlogs always include Monday, but yeah, today was like more of like a productive getting stuff done day. Tomorrow is Sunday and we're gonna watch the football game. We're gonna like cook football food, do like a football Sunday here. Can we stop and get a snack? Yeah. Like a 7 Eleven. Oh, I don't have shoes. Is that allowed? It's fine. Put your hat forward. Y'all know what it is. <laughs> Does this make us losers? Matching hats? Yeah. Probably. <laughs>
Okay, hey guys. We got back and just hung out. I put on like cozy clothes and I'm gonna head to the market to get stuff for dinner. I am going to be going to the fresh market, which unpopular opinion out of like all of the bougie, overpriced, organic, artisan sort of markets, fresh market is actually my least favorite, but they have the best baked goods, like the best bread. And they do have like, it is a really good market, like it's a really nice market, but it's my least favorite out of all the overpriced markets. So normally I would not go to fresh market, but I'm going today because I want to get their fresh baguette. Cause I'm going to make Tommy soup tonight for dinner. So as you guys know, I was on a massive soup kick this fall. Like I feel like all I ate was soup. Pretty like hearty soups though, like very filling soups with like pasta and meat and vegetables. Um, but Tommy missed my entire soup era because he was in Asia slash just like traveling for tennis. So he didn't have any of my soups and I feel like he would really like them. So I'm gonna make the spicy tortellini soup inspired by Wishbone Kitchen's recipe. Then Tommy and I were planning on having a little movie night. I've been spending a lot less time on my phone ever since I got back from Europe. I feel like I was spending a ton of time on my phone. Um, while I was in Europe, my sleep schedule was also super, super off when I was in Europe. I was staying up late on my phone and then not sleeping well. So Tommy and I have been going to bed super early and waking up on the earlier side and it's just been really nice and refreshing and so much better for my mental health. I literally feel like at my age, I get like hung over from staying up too late. It's just so bad for you. But the mix of like sleeping well and spending less time on my phone has been really, really nice. And it's something that I, I feel like need to constantly remind myself about and be self-disciplined about because it does take self-discipline. Monitor your phone screen time and I'm just like honestly spending time on platforms that make me feel good I'm spending the most time on Pinterest and I've discovered a few new youtubers that I really love recently that create like home content that I'm obsessed with and yeah I feel like the apps that you spend the most time on say a lot about where you're at or like how your mental health is doing it's kind of weird to think about that you have to be self-disciplined with your phone. We rely so much on our phones now for literally everything that it's really hard to be self-disciplined about our phones and about what we're spending time doing on our phones and whether or not you're being mindful and whether or not you're just like mindlessly scrolling or if you're finding yourself being like hateful or if you're finding yourself reading news or political stuff that doesn't make you feel good like the internet's just like heavy for me it's my work so my relationship with my phone and social media is quite different but i know that sometimes social media can be a form of like escape after work or after class anyways i'm at fresh market my rant's over but i just feel like when i have a unique perspective like on the internet in general just from like growing up on the internet and dealing with all the things that come with like being a public person on the internet and then being like a human with a phone. And I feel like just constantly questioning our relationship with social media and how it's affecting our mental health and the fact that we are way more in control of like how we're actually interacting with the internet and how we're consuming content and how we're interacting with the world around us through our phone is very important and it's very in our control. Also does not like live chronically online and live chronically on your phone, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna go to the market. I'll be right back. <laughs>
soup review. I'm gonna go with it's it's the best soup that you've made for me for sure. Really? Yeah. Right, it's my favorite. Like I like I like spicy. I know this is I very like you. It's and very I like you. pasta. Yeah. So. So it's a ten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi guys, happy football Sunday. I just went to the market and then I took a shower and I thought I would show you guys what I'm cooking. I've never been super into football, but I'm actually excited for this football, for this football game. I was about to say football match. It's not a football match. Tommy is a huge Eagles fan, massive diehard Eagles fan. My dad is a Giants fan, so I grew up, I guess, a Giants fan. The Eagles are playing the Cowboys and apparently this is a big football game for them. So I thought I would make the guys some food. Honestly, any excuse for me to cook is really fun for me, so I'm excited to make a few things. I'm gonna make a big steak sandwich, but not like a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. I'm gonna do New York strip, arugula, and I'm gonna make like a little sauce and do like a big steak sandwich. I'm gonna do crab dip, which I've shared before, I'll share the recipe again. And, and then I have chips and salsa and a cheese board. So I'm just gonna dice up an onion for the crab dip. So the guys just left. I don't know why, but it feels like I've been out of office for like two weeks. When I haven't. So I'm actually really excited to like meet with my team tomorrow and catch up with them. We're making a lot of changes internally and it's just a very exciting time for my brands. So I'm looking forward to this week and like getting caught up and um, all of that. We are going away to Colorado on Thursday. We planned like a big friends ski trip. There's like a ton of people coming, like all my closest friends, Amanda, Olivia, Lauren, my friend Alex, David, Tommy, um, my friend Devin is meeting us out there. So that's gonna be a really fun ski trip. I'm really looking forward to that. I also have some like really exciting partnerships that I'm gonna be filming while I'm in Colorado. Um, a little hint, one luggage brand. A luggage brand that I love. And then my favorite ski attire company in Colorado. So it's like a work and work and play trip. As some of you know, skiing used to be literally my whole entire life. So I only go once or twice a year now. So it's always really special and fun when we get to go. Here you go. Oh. We got this new water filter that, this is separate from the main faucet and it's like super purified water. What did he say it tasted like? It tastes like Fiji water. Fiji water, like the quality of Fiji water. Like it's that. really, really good. Tommy still has not unpacked and there's a bunch of laundry to put away. So I'm going to help him put all this away. And then we're probably gonna go to bed. This is the closet, it's pretty organized. I have to bring a lot of my stuff from Connecticut. I really don't have any 
of my like stuff that I'm gonna bring for the winter in Florida. This is the player's gift we got last year at the Australian Open and we said it was his good luck charm. If you saw me commenting owls on every single one of his posts, in Australia, that was why. Tommy is sponsored by New Balance and New Balance Lifestyle. And they just have the coolest shoes. So cool. The man that just woke me up at 7.30 to go to the beach. We just got this new table. I just reheated some of this dip that I made yesterday. I'm gonna eat this before dinner. I don't know if you guys knew this about me, but I have a ginger ale a day. Okay. I feel like my lips are already dry. Do you ever get frustrated with Tommy's tennis schedule and how do you handle it? I'm really good about it. I get stressed sometimes about um sometimes it's hard when i have a lot of ads to shoot or a lot of work to do or if it's somewhere across the country because a lot of the times or most every time you don't know how long tommy's going to be in the tournament so it can be stressful like deciding which ones to go to and which ones to prioritize to go to but i feel like i manage it Pretty well. I'm not a very high stress person. So no, I feel like the the tournament schedule you're pretty understanding with. It's so like when I have time off, you, you always want me to come back to Connecticut. Yeah. How to keep your weight constant? I feel like I don't have the 100% right answer for this, but my weight has fluctuated a ton in the past five to six years, and I feel like generally. When I, now, now that I have a better relationship with alcohol, I feel like my relationship with food has changed. I also used to drink a lot and then I would kind of like eat a lot and like binge out when I was drinking. So I feel like that affected my weight a lot in my 20s, like the amount that I was drinking, like I was drinking so much and then I was eating a lot when I would get home. So I feel like now that I have a better relationship with alcohol, my diet is better and my sleep is better. But I feel like that's just like part of being 20 is like going out and partying and all that. I feel like... Um, did you cook much in the city? I did not cook as much as I do now. That's definitely affected. Yeah, I feel like that's, that's yeah. the difference. I definitely... I do cook. I feel like when you cook, you always just... Eat healthier. Yeah. Totally. Agreed. I'm also like not overeating because I'm cooking for myself. Like when you order takeout, I feel like you can overeat a lot. Like that culture of ordering food out, drinking a lot, partying a lot leads to like a lot of weight fluctuation and like unhealthy relationships with food. Like I am more active now. I don't drink that much and I cook for myself. Like that's led me to have a healthier diet. Yeah. It's just a healthier lifestyle really. Right. Have you ever tried lip blushing? I have, I got it done like two years ago and then it- What is that? It's like a lip tattoo that like tints your lips. Oh, I need that. You do? Yeah. Aww. I got it like two years ago and I loved it and it has completely faded. I definitely want to get it done again. Does body skinny shaming comments bother you? No, they don't. I mean, I my job is putting myself out there on the internet. I feel like any comment at this point is just like how it goes. Like I can't complain about people commenting about my appearance. Yeah, nothing gets to this girl. I feel like I have pretty tough skin. I think so too. I think you take a lot of heat, but you know, you're pretty good at not letting it affect you. Whenever I tell Tommy something that someone said about me that was mean, he's like, you're funny about it. Why, what do I, what do I say? Like I feel like you're like, 
Yeah, girls are insane. Yeah, just try and brush it off. I don't know. I think my go-to line is like, did you expect anything different? More Tommy takeovers. Coming soon, Colorado. Yeah, we're going to Colorado on Thursday. Your favorite part about your friendships? I would say most of my friends I've had for like really long periods of time. I think people growing with me and rooting me on through all the stages of my life and always being there for me and um, growing up with people. I just like trust those people in my life. I definitely have a harder, hard time trusting new friends sometimes in my life. So I just really value those long-term relationships. Favorite way to unwind. What do you think my favorite way to unwind is? I feel like uh, getting on cozies. Yeah, cozies and candles. Yeah, that's such a girl answer. <laughs> like I'm such a girl. Yeah, I like tea. Mhm. Mm I don't like watch um, like TV to unwind though. Like, oh, I, I can't get her to watch a show with me to save my life. We watched Yellowstone. That was good. Yeah, got her on one show, and now just waiting for that next season to come out so I can sit on the couch and chill with her. I'm not a big movie person and I'm not a big TV person at all. Like, I'm just not a big TV person. My parents didn't let me have a TV in my bedroom my whole life and my boarding school, there were no TVs in the dorms. There were no TVs on campus besides in the dining hall that showed like the news. So like TV hasn't been a big part of my life. I don't know, I have like some favorite movies and stuff, but. What's your favorite movie? Probably like Harry Potter or something. <laughs> or like Lord of the Rings. I like medieval like sci-fi stuff. I don't like movies that make me feel sad. I don't like movies that feel too real either because then I get attached to the characters and get really sad. Oh, I love, I love like, like a I, tear jerker. No, like I don't like getting invested. Like I don't like, cause I then I like have to mourn the movie and mourn the fact that those people aren't actually real. I loved the show Peaky Blinders. That's like a show that I got all the way through that I loved. I actually do like war shows and I like shows that are based off true stories. Love movies and TV shows like that. I love docu-series, documentary. Are you going to be traveling the same, less, or more with Tommy next year? It's a great question. I want to know the answer. You do? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the same. I think that I'm going to um, not go to as many clay court. Like, I don't know why. It had nothing to do with your results. It was just like... But yeah, I don't like, I don't really like any of those yeah, tournaments. Like, but I also think that like, I could have gone to the Vienna in, the, in China and Asia with you. I think like you needed me more at the end of your season and I kind of like, but was focusing on work and being at home, but like you could have like used me there more than probably other tournaments. Like I want to be there for you and you need me mm. more. Yeah. Like I'm not on vacation, I'm there to support you, so. I need you in the clay course season. Okay, I'll come. <laughs> what happened to your pinky? I cut it today. Oh yeah. I cheese grated it. Oh yeah. <laughs> One thing you wish you could tell your 19, 20 year old self. This is a great question because Tommy and I, was it last night? We were talking about what our worst age was and Tommy said 20. 20. Yeah. I said 21 and 22. Um, I think that that's when I struggled the most and I feel like I, it was a weird age for me because I was really struggling and I was in a really bad relationship, but I felt like I was an adult and I felt like I knew, like it's a weird age because you feel like you're an adult and you feel like you kind of know everything, but you really don't. Like 25 has been, getting older has been so nice and amazing. Like, 20, I don't know. I just feel like you gain more peace the older you get. Like I definitely don't think I, like, I was, I like had a peaceful life when I was in my 20s because of like drinking and. Um, well, it's been your best age. 24, 25, like not even, you can't even compare. Yeah. Um, 13. Yeah, 13 was awesome. 13, 13 was, was fucking best. great. Um, I also just feel like I know how to deal with people better. 
now that I've gotten older, like that's been such a huge thing that I've learned while getting older. And I swear to God, it was just gonna take age, but like I used to be very reactive. And when guys or girls would hurt me or hurt my relationship or hurt me as a friend, I was just like very reactive. My way of dealing with things was just like immature. Why was um 20 your worst age? No, I just didn't really know what I liked, you know, I was... In terms of like, life? Yeah, you know, yeah. I feel like that's part of being 20 though, you experience as much as you can and then yeah. learn what you like and what what's not good for you. Yeah. Where will you settle down, Connecticut or Florida? Who knows? Yeah. I think right now, Connecticut is amazing for me because I love my house. I think living close to family is priceless. That's another thing that I've learned getting older. Like I just love being near my mom and my dad and being near family and being on the coast that's like most familiar to me. Um, I feel like I've, I feel like I have so much more peace and comfort in my life because I have a really solid friend group and a really like solid relationship with my family. So right now the Connecticut Florida rotation is like perfect for me. They're very close to each other. The flight's super easy. I would say that when Tommy retires, tennis players retire in their 30s, 35, around 35. Yeah, mid 30s. Mid 30s. I think Tommy and I will both reevaluate like where we really want to live. Tommy, I'm, I'm drawn to the south. Yeah, like, Tommy's I'm, from North Carolina. He grew up like majority of his childhood in North Carolina. I, um, my family had a house in South Carolina. So I love the Carolinas. Oh, this is another question for us. Will you and Tommy live in two states forever? Or would you prefer to settle down in one? Two uh, states until I'm done with tennis. I could see us. Tommy keeps saying that he wants to maybe get out of Florida one day. Once oh, but I, I always want ties. Yeah, I think I'll keep I'll keep a house. Down I here. think like keeping a house on the water in Florida, and then having a main house would yeah. be ideal. How to stop being lazy and doubting yourself? Love your content. That's so sweet. For me, I think if you're feeling lazy, that could mean a lot of different things. But I feel like you want to create things in your life that you get excited about. I shared a quote the other day on my Instagram story that I really loved and it's like life is all about getting excited about little things. Whether that's like cooking, making a coffee in the morning, your lunch, something you're looking forward to on the weekend, whatever it is, I think romanticizing your life and getting excited about small things, whether it's like buying yourself flowers or you know, having fresh sheets on your bed, like there are small things that you should get excited about and just like romanticize life because that's like the best way to live. Um, but I think that if, you're fine, you're, if you find yourself being lazy about everything, which I feel like I got to a point in college when I was like a little bit depressed, not really loving anything I was doing, that's when I was feeling the most lazy, when I wasn't like excited about life. So, that would be my advice. Try to find little things that you can get excited about and that looks different for everyone. Any daily non-negotiables? I always put myself together in the morning, I would say, like whether that's showering, washing my face, brushing my hair, brushing my teeth. I take care of like my um, physical appearance, I would say, because it makes me feel better. Um, and it's really not for anyone else, but like just me feeling good and put together. I feel less productive when I don't like get myself ready for the day and that doesn't mean like doing my hair and my makeup but like feeling put together. What is the most exciting brand you've ever gotten gifting from? Oh, there are so many brands that I've been like so um, excited to get gifting from. I got an email from Self Portrait which is the dress company that I wore to Wimbledon. It's a very beautiful um, company, dress company and that was pretty cool and really flattering and they're gonna be sending me some stuff to wear to matches, so that's really cool. That's like a recent cool one. This memory card is completely out of memory. I just had to delete a few things. I'm gonna answer one more question. It's what's my favorite quote right now, and I have a few favorite quotes right now. I saved this one quote I saw on Instagram yesterday that um, I loved, and it's a good way to end this um, vlog.
The quote is, the most powerful person is someone who decides that their self-worth is not a group decision.